DHCP on Debian, we're gonna start with this command. So terminal, uh, first of all, sudo dash s, and let me make it a little bigger to see better. Then app get installed. That's I S C D H C P E H C P dash server. So we will install the services that we need for D H C P. Bugs on Baylor. Let's see that this one. Uh, fail to start the services. Okay. Uh, nano etc dhcp dhcp.conf is the configuration file that we have for dhcp. And you know, in like when we are doing dhcp, you need a range of IP address and a subnet. So uh, it is like, for example, this line that you see here. I'm just uncommenting this section because it's similar what we are looking for. Uh, it has many features like max, least time. So those we just need it, we are uncommenting. So subnet that I'm putting here is gonna be, for example, 192.168.1 zero net mask 255 255 range of ip address i'm putting 192.168.1.50 and then uh, these are like for domain name servers that you have. For example, I put here as a DNS server, I put here 4224. Domain name, I uh, put it, for example, as my domain dot example, my domain dot example. Routers is your gateway actually. I put it as 192.168.1.254. Broadcast address and these lines I don't need it just as a I put it as a comment like max least time. So eight days by default is in Windows. You see that 7200 also is mentioned here. Um, the important point is that when you're setting your range as 192.168.1, then here also network interfaces should be at that range. Look, now it is something else. So you put the IP address, for example, here 192.168.1.124, and you don't need gateway here. Just apply it. So that's my IP address, okay? So then you select one of these network adapters, for example, VMNet 18. Also, I put this one as a VMNet 18 mm -hmm. because I wanna try with Windows. I'm disconnecting this VPN that I had from previous lab. Uh, so, uh, then you save this configuration. So one of the, again, one of the things that you should um, look here, IP address. So here, look, your ENS33 interface is 192.168.11. And there is like a configuration under here, edit etc default, uh, ISC, DHCP server. So you see that that's the interface that you're setting for your DHCP, ENS33, the same interface that we had, ENS33. 
then you can restart your services like system CTL, restart, ISC, DHCP, DHCP dash server. We have error. Journal CTL dash X E U. I am bringing this one. Let's see what is that error. We also had an error before. Um, Debian server. So box bad range. You see that this line bad range one nine two one six eight one fifty, not part of this one. Let's see why we had that bad range. Um. So that was this file. If I am not wrong, this file dhcp.conf. And here maybe we have oh look net mask. Net mask should be two five five two five five two five five zero, right? Then it makes sense that one hundred and fifty to two hundred. So, uh, not save this one. Restart. It will restart this. And here maybe I will double check with this one to see that I got the IP address. Oh, that's not my IP address. So probably this one should be set as a automatic, right? So we are receiving from DHCP. So then uh, if the network connection is correct, look, 192.168.150, and the other is set here also. Also, you can verify from here. Uh, let me clear my screen. Uh, cat var lip DHCP, DHCP leases. So this one shows here, okay, this desktop got that IP address. And that's the IP address you receive from DHCP server. One of the things that we have under that, this configuration file, nano DHCP D configuration, is uh, actually you can set uh, a specific host IP address for your um for for example if i wanna set windows 10 and reserve this ip address as 150 i should have that mac address also um the mac address you see that we call it as a fixed address so it's located here so by uncommenting this section is asking you, what is your MAC address? You know, we had it in the previous command. So if you do cat var uh, library DHCP, DHCP leases. Here, look, there is MAC address, hardware, Ethernet access. You can copy this one, bring it to here, hardware, Ethernet. And you can put it here, that address. And for a fixed address, you can put that one, for example, put always Windows 10 as 192.168.1, 150. Mm -hmm. So now it is 150. Okay, let me put as something else, for example, 200. 200. That makes more sense. And this is actually Win 10, not Fantasia. Win 10. So, MAC address and fix address. You save this one, you restart the service of a DHCP 
to see that you have an error. And you can verify from here also what you got. It still is 150. Let's go here. You know, in Windows operating system also, uh, you can do this command IP config release and renew. Maybe renew and release. Yeah, renew. So it will receive a new IP address. It is like when you're shutting down your interface and shutting um, up. So then it's trying to receive a new IP address. Look, 192.168.1.200. So that's new IP address. So the good things about this IP address, even if you're on a vacation and uh, you turn off your machine for a long time. After that least time, your IP address usually should be for, for other devices. But once you set it as a fix, that means that forever, Windows 10 is going to be 192.168.1.200. That's something usually we do for servers, printers, and we set a fixed IP address. So that concludes this DHCP lab.